Welcome back as local farmers begin another growing season. Many are not feeling as confident. Our Amanda Quintana shows us how last year's heavy rain has farmers worried that that could be the new normal. We bring them in. They're in here for a few weeks. They go out through the field. This routine, something Steve Pincus has come to get used to, farming for most of his adult life. I started seriously in 76. But still, he says he hasn't perfected it. There's stuff to figure out every year because conditions are different every year. In some ways, that's part of the appeal of the industry, always taking on a new challenge. It's just become more intensified. But his 43 years didn't prepare him for 2018. It was by far the wettest year I've ever seen. A weather change so dramatic it has Pincus thinking it can't just be blamed on the ups and downs of farming. We've seen a lot more heavy rainfalls. By that I mean two and three inch pounding rains. And that always has happened some, but now it's happening frequently. Because of this climate change, TP produce had its worst season for overall production last year. We couldn't come close to the yields and quality that we were used to. Sensitive vegetables like carrots, no match for heavy rains. It beats up the plants, it opens up, you know, it creates wounds, it opens them up to disease. And one or two storms a year, okay, they will recover, they'll heal from it. But when it's too frequent and we have too much moisture and humidity in the air, we see a lot more plant diseases. The certified organic farm in Evansville can usually handle its fair share of water. What you see is rye. It's a grass. A quarter of the produce was destroyed, meaning Pincus's earnings last year were essentially zero. You know, normally I would say, yes, we're going to do better. But last year was so, it was such a big deal. The weather was so intense that it puts some doubt in my, in my mind. And I, that's hard to farm with that doubt. And he's not the only farmer going into this season less confident. It's pretty clear things are changing. The proof in the produce or the lack of. You know, most years, like all through September, all of our produce sales are local. And this year we were, we were uh, hurting to find even just a few things that we had enough volume that we could actually promote and sell a lot of. At Willie Street Co-op, it was obvious their local producers were hit hard. We probably saw some that had 50, 70 percent losses, um, which for a young farmer who doesn't have a lot of resources built up could be really, really detrimental to their business. And we actually based our land purchase thinking about climate change. It's David Bachhuber's third year and just his first full season on this new farm. He's feeling more prepared because of last year's losses. So we know that if we have a drought, we have a great well and we're covered there. And we know that if it rains too much, we get a little bit of drainage without having all of our soil wash out. He says he didn't even realize the climate change last year since he's so new to the industry. And so it's actually been in talking to older farmers that I could really find out, wow, this is very much outside the, the norm. He found a mentor in Pincus, learning how to build his own 30-acre farm. You know, we're building a greenhouse, we're building a wash area, we're building coolers, we're building a lot right now, so there's a lot of change that's happening in this, in this farm. The thing about farming is it's just filled with so many variable challenges. Like, the whole thing is, is uh, you know, stacked with challenges, and so it was just another one to take into account. One wet, bad year for a mature farmer is just one of many good years, but it's 40% of Bach Huber's farming experience, so he's ready for it to continue. If it's rain, if it's hail, if it's snow, if it's random cold, if it's random heat, if it's a total drought, we have to be prepared for all of those things. And so it is really about using our time now to be able to prepare for that and not to be surprised. And if last year is any indication, farmers will need to adapt fast. And if that average is changing quickly, then we're going to have trouble. In Evansville, Amanda Quintana, News 3 Now. Because farmers couldn't sell to Willie Street Co-op at their usual lower price, the store had to raise the price of some of their local products. They say this climate change could continue affecting consumers.